In yesterday's story, I was helped into 50 pounds of firefighting gear so that I could participate in several self-rescue drills courtesy of the Saskatoon Fire and Protective Services. These drills are designed to keep firefighters aware of the challenges and difficulties of maneuvering through tight and deadly situations, all the while wearing heavy and cumbersome protective gear and breathing apparatus. FSI Wilbur Hauser will be my guide. So what we have here is, is different training props for our annual STB drill. So what we're going to have you do is this is going to simulate that if firefighters are inside a building and the room has flashed over or it's going to flash over and the firefighters are trained that they can recognize the signs and if they know, oh my god, this room is going to flash over, they need to get out of the room but they can't make it out the doorway they came in so the only way is to come out a window. And the way they're going to do that is they're going to activate a mayday, say that we're in trouble, we're activating mayday, 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 firefighters trapped, we're coming out the northeast door or northeast window and we're going to come out that and that would activate our RIT team that's standing by so it's a rapid intervention team so then they would grab ladders or whatever tools they would need and they would come to that window they'd put ladders up to rescue those firefighters that were coming out that initiated a mayday. Have you come out? Okay now have you just come over on this side here? Okay now get your head down I want to have your face close so get this hand on this corner here Okay, you come out, now straddle the windowsill, get your inside leg out, straddle it. Okay, now put your face down, now rotate out, and put your back leg straight, there you go, keep rotating, rotate, get your hand down here, now rotate some more, rotate, more, more, there. And that's how you're going to hang until we can get a ladder to you or until a RIT team gets there and pulls you out. Hmm. And they say you can hang here for anywhere from 10 to an hour. Um, and that, sure what's that? I'm not sure I could. Yeah, it, it's, it's painful. The other way we'll show you, so if there's two firefighters inside the building, there's different techniques. So I'll hang here. Okay, you come out the other side. And then you hang over top of me. Yep. Yeah. Do the same thing. Come over top. It's like that, and you hang like that. Hurts like hell for the guy on the bottom, but. <laughs> now get, now I want you to do this. Can you see me, Jay? I want you just to rotate down and get your head as low as you can like this. Okay, get as low as you can. And now you have two firefighters can hang out this window. It's a little bit easier the other way. So with this one, the main purpose of this one is to have firefighters, hopefully they would never go through this much wire. Right. But they, they possibly could. But the idea of this drill is to have them go through and get caught so they can find out where the where they get caught, how they can free themselves. So it's to learn if they get snagged by wires, how they can free themselves and continue on. So, do you want to give her a whirl? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm already caught. caught already caught and having gone inside it. Yeah. And I'll just help you get started. So we'll lift this up. So if you want to lay yourself down there. Okay, and get your tank against the wall. Lay it in, there you go. Now get your left hand to go along the ground, that's it. Now pick everything up with your left hand, now bring your right hand to flip it up. Now your right hand holds it up, now your left hand slides along the bottom again. Okay, now lift up for your left hand. Okay. Excellent. What our crews usually do is, as you can see here, there's a high side and a low side. So the firefighters will come first to, to learn the technique. They'll come on the high side, they won't get snagged very much, but they learn the technique. Then they have to go out on the low side. And so now they have to go down that way to go through, doing the same technique. So now they're going to get snagged a lot more. Then once they're all done that, then we black their face pieces out. So now they can't see, and then they've got to come through this again blacked out. So that's kind of the evolution. So they get used to the technique, how it works. Then when they get blacked out and they get snagged, they have to rely on their senses now to understand where they're snagged. I can't see any wires, so now they have to feel and feel where it's being tugged on to come out. Now this one simulates that you're in a building 
and you fought the fire and you're exiting the building and all of a sudden there's a building collapse. So the roof has come down. This is a hallway and the roof has come down. So you have all the structures. It could be beams from the roof itself came down. That's what the two by fours are simulating. But you have light fixtures and you have ducting that's fallen down. Give her a whirl. Try and get as low as you can. That's it. Okay, you gotta get a little bit lower. You may have to move that pipe out of your way so you can move closer to the wall. Okay, there we go. You have to come out, come out this way. Come out up this side here. Okay, you got a little bit of debris in your way, so you're gonna have to clear that. Good job. And time. Nicely done. Yeah, it was good. Good job. This is a 12 inch opening. This is a 14 inch opening. This is a 16 inch opening. So you can kind of pick what you want. So before you take your tank off, first you're gonna do is sound the floor on the other side to make sure it's secure. So tap it hard, make sure you pound it hard. Okay, good. So now you're gonna take your tank off. Okay, so now you wanna put that end through first. Okay, then you've just flipped these up to make these narrower. So you can flip those both up. There you go. And you've sounded the floor. So now what we'll do is we'll get you to take your helmet off. Just kind of roll. And it's going to stay on your SCB. It's not going to come off. So now you can just okay. set it down on top. So now you can scoot that through. Okay, make sure you hang on. Don't ever let go. Hang on to your SCB. Okay. Always hang on to that. So now you're going to put this hand through. Now lay on your belly. Lay down. And then put your other hand through. And then it slowly squirm, but make sure your shoulder, one shoulder comes to the top up here. Rotate a bit. There you go. Wow. And just slowly rotate. That's it. Just take your time. Slowly rotate. Come through. Okay, stop. Now put your helmet back on for the sign of safety. So you know everything's all right on this side. Okay, come forward, now sound in front if you can. Floor still secure and pull your way through. Now rotate your hips a little bit so you come through. Good job. So now, what I'll show you here is when you talked about the swimming technique is if you had an opening in a wall, firefighters have cut an opening in the wall. They've cut the drywall out. They've sounded the floor on the other side. They know that it's safe on the other side. Okay, get close. Okay, now get it, put it all the way through. Okay, good, now take a step through. Okay, yep, now lift your other hand up and take another step back. And that's the backstroke. I didn't think I could do that. Yep, that's 60 inch, and then you can also do it if you had to. If a firefighter is too exhausted and you only have an opening this high, you can sit down, and again, the microphone's here, but you can do the same thing. Lift up, lift up, you'll fall through. You put your tank through the opening, get your feet straight out. Okay, lift, to one, just do the backstroke. One hand up, and then the other hand up. You're gonna fall through, now pull yourself through, and turn your hips, turn your hips sideways, there you go and you're through the wall. But that's her. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, sir. Great. You're welcome. So let's get all this stuff off. When you take your mask off, it'll like a nice breath of fresh air. It'll be nice <laughs> and cool and... Oh. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. Did a good job. Well, thank you. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun, but these situations will never actually happen to me. But for a firefighter, any random Thursday could go from a normal sunny day in one moment to crawling blind through deadly debris with less than an hour's notice. For them, training of this nature is not only vital, but life-saving. For Shaw TV, I'm JJ Newfeld.